What's up guys, how's it going? Go back at you here with another video. Um, doing a few packages that we got for a mail day today. Thank you guys for coming out last night and hanging out. Oh, Brayson walked away. <laughs> yep. Uh, this first one here, Snods from Snodzilla. Snodzilla Breaks. Check it out there. Oh, I, had a, I forgot about the XRC. Hi. So I got into the uh, select break second half of the case that he had and ended up getting uh, TJ Hawkinson select is probably my favorite product every year I say that all the time it goes select for me then probably prism and then elite I would guess um, but this is a TJ Hawkinson draft selections rookie patch pick number eight that is out of 99 and then we had a carry on Johnson. This is also out of 99. 8 out of 99 on the patches. You want to check those out, B? You want to get those? No? Oh, you got food? <laughs> uh, ended up randomizing the XRC, and I got that as well. This is a redemption. This is the tie-dye redemption, so this is going to be out of 25. And it could be a good one. It's QB4. So it could be a good quarterback. Uh, we will see what happens with that. Here's a Ty Johnson tricolor out of 199. Hawkinson rookie and a Ty Johnson. Jelani Tavai. Uh, a field level Matthew Stafford and a field level silver of Matthew Stafford. You can tell the difference between the silvers really pretty and uh, the base. Let me see how one shinier than the other. Mm-hmm. Another Hawkinson rookie. Uh, this is a Ty Johnson silver rookie. There's a carry on Johnson. This is the TJ Hawkinson silver field level rookie. See the difference between the base Hawkinson and the silver uh, field level? Mm -hmm. Another carry on. There's a Ty and a carry on silver. Nice. So we were able to get some silvers uh, in there. You know, selects. Um, Coalition with their boxes is really really good this year so I was like uh, you know the four boxes that we opened uh, were pretty amazing and then um, uh, the ones that the breaks that I've been into which are really pretty good as well so there's that um I you guys saw last week in the division break dime wild Steve ended up pulling a ridiculous filled level out of five, three out of five, Daniel Jones. I think he has it up on the on the Facebook group, Card Family Facebook group, and Twitter for three fifty or best offer. Which I thought I thought he was kind of uh, dumb for pricing it that low because the base out of five, Daniel Jones, the green base out of five, Daniel Jones. Now, what I mean by base is just um, this card, right, or like this style is the base or what we call the uh, concourse that went for 500 out of five of daniel jones what i'm talking about is dime wild has this of daniel jones three out of five and that is the filled level and he has it 150 dollars less than what the base went for um you know but that that's that's dime's uh decision and you know he's trying to flip it quick uh so that's a that's a great way to do it. Put it $150 less than the base card goes for. So if you're interested, uh, check it out. That's on Twitter, uh, at DimeWild123, and uh, on the Card Family Facebook group. This next one here is from Southern Breakers. So when I first started doing breaks back in the day, uh, Jamie at Southern Breakers uh, was, was one of them that I did with. And I got into hers for old time sakes. When she had a little mixer and ended up getting the Buccaneers and the Bengals. So not the best teams, but then she hit me up and said, hey, you know, how's it going? We talked for a little bit, so that was kind of cool. Uh, here we got a t AJ Green and Tyler Boyd. So like I said, it was a little mixer. Here we had a Ryan Finley, rookie from Select. And an Andy Dalton touchdown variation. Um, we had William Jackson, rookie. And then in this one was the Sunday Stars AJ Green out of 199 and that is game worn material. 
And then, like I said, we also have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is a uh, Shaq Barrett, Shaquille Barrett. Um, so Shaq Barrett actually was a beast last year. This is actually a rookie card for him. Um, you know, for the Buccaneers before that, he was kind of buried behind the Broncos linebacker crew. But this is the silver rookie of uh, Shaq Barrett. Then we got Sean Murphy Bunting, Devin White rookies, Ronald Joan rookie. Uh, then some base, Doug Martin, Winston, Winston, Jackson, Evans, Cameron Brayton, O.J. Howard. I'll go to the card club kids. Um, and then she sent me a Jared Davis rookie auto out of 199. She knew I was a Lions fan and I didn't get much in the break. So, um, you know, it's always cool where, where she, um, you know, takes care of you. So, thank you, Jamie. Southern Breakers southernbreakers.com I believe so make sure you go over there and see if you have time to check that out a little bit um then we had a package from Rip City Cards it's ripping wax you guys know them better as Rip City Cards I think I was in a limited break yeah. nope select okay sometimes I, I don't know I did not even watch this break so I have no idea what's in this I just know that it should be lions <laughs> But I did not even watch this break. I think they only sent um, rookies and silvers and hits in this one, which I don't usually get into those kind of breaks, and I'm kind of disappointed they did it that way. Um, you know, but it is what it is. I can't do anything about it now. I didn't realize that until after the fact. So, Uncle Jesse, if you see this, Rip City, Rip City cards, um, you know, y'all, y'all are better than that. Um, you know, you you guys are one of the breakers I look up to. We talked a lot at the national. Please send people their cards. Uh, this is TJ Hawkinson, Rookie Silver from Select. And Matthew Stafford, Silver, filled level. And another one. We had a Hawkinson, Rookie. You're going to be a couple of those. I think it was a full case break. Ty Johnson, a couple of rookies of those with the Tavai. Here's a Barry Sanders snapshot insert. I mean, it just helps for like somebody like me, which I'm a Lions PC guy. Uh, rookie selection insert. This is really cool. TJ Hawkinson. There's a Kenny Galladay silver. See, like I don't have a Kenny Galladay base. It would have been nice to send a Kenny Galladay base to me. Or at least one of each. One of each would have been cool. Here's a Barry Sanders silver. Nice snapshots there. Ty Johnson rookie silver. And ooh, we did get an auto. Jelani Tavai rookie auto from Select. That's pretty sweet. 67 of 99. So again, I wasn't able to... Uh, see their break, but awesome. Didn't even realize what I got and got something cool. Um, have a few more packages, but first, this is this little guy's last game today. Uh, I thought he played really well. One of uh, one of his best games. I thought he played really good help defense. Um, you know, he he attacked. He he made he made a basket and. Um, Right at the buzzer there at the end of the game, he tried a half-court shot to to try to win the game, uh, but it didn't fall down, so they ended up tied. Don't get me started about getting ties. Um, but they ended up tied 15-15. He threw that half-court shot up at, at the buzzer, but didn't quite make it. And um, so I was pretty proud of his second year of, of organized basketball uh, on a team. Um, you know, we got to use that left hand more. <laughs> we gotta get that shot out in front of our face consistently. Um, you know he was he was a little overly aggressive today. I think he picked up three fouls, but I'm okay with that because you know in second grade you know you can't really you don't want to rein that in because then it might go the other way. But um, we have the one touched, one touched in a magnetic, Brayson Flores. <laughs> This is the 2020 Sela edition. This is the Sela parallel. <laughs> I think he's pretty proud of that. He's jumping around back behind me. Um, but I wanted to put this in a magnetic and always have it uh, with me. You know, speaking of mags, cheapest supplies on the internet. But here you go, Sela Parks and Rec, Brayson Flores, Sela Tigers. There's his coach. He's the uh, principal at the school. Uh -huh. um, ended up being a coach. Eight years old, favorite pro player, Kobe. Little Kobe Bryant. 
favorite pro team, the Lakers. So there we go. That's always going to be one touched. It's always going to be right there on my desk. So very, very proud of him. Uh, thank you guys so much. I know we dealt with loss uh, this week. So I want to thank you guys for, for trying to make it a little more easier on Bray by, you know, your generosity last night. Yeah. Um, thank you know, you. with, um, you know, purchasing that lot from him and then uh, for Forky uh, getting some Pokemon packs for him. <laughs> so greatly appreciate that, man. That's, that's very thought worthy of you. Okay. Put those, uh, those are going to go in the Card Club Kid box. Okay, Card Club? Yep, that's going to be right here. That top one. Right oh, there. that's for you. Yep, yeah, right there. Yep, it's going to go inside that box if you could put it in there. All right, last, Nathan K. You guys saw me open this up, and he did such a great job of packaging it that I didn't want to bore people in the auctions when we were live. So Nathan K. ended up sending a big lot of cards. He actually sent some mystery packs for the Card Club kids, so we're going to do those next Tuesday for them at, at school. Um, but he did send some stuff for me, which is cool because he's a... A Packers fan, which, ooh, what the heck? That's awesome, Kenny G. Um, you know, which nobody should really be Packers fans, but that's okay. <laughs> Here's some Matthew Stafford. Woo! One, two, three, four. Matthew Stafford hollow. Are all these Stafford cards? This is sweet. You guys know that Matthew Stafford is my second biggest PC. Barry's first, Matthew's two, uh, Calvin is three, Cooper Cup is four uh, for football. Ooh, I don't think I have this one. Tops Unrivaled. I'm almost positive I don't have that one. Sweet. Thank you, brother. Prism there, Contenders. He, I think he just like unloaded all of his Matthew Stafford cards on me because he's a Packers fan. He's like, I don't want these things. Hmm. <laughs> Very awesome, though. Holy cow. I'm going to have to look through these a little more carefully, uh, bring my Matthew Stafford box out and look through that and see which ones can fit and which ones are, are doubles or triples and which ones can go into Brayson's collection. Yeah. Here, <laughs> here's some berries. Oh, my gosh. All these are the same five Barry Sanders inserts. <laughs> I'll get it out later, Bubba. It's fine. <laughs> Just leave it there. It's probably pretty heavy. Yeah. <laughs> and then this one's really cool. Look at this tie-dye. Wait, what? Look at this tie-dye card. Cool. Even though I didn't see it. <laughs> Still cool. I know. Kenny Galladay tie-dye, and that's going to be super short print. 24 out of 25. Oh. Wow, that is beautiful. Um, here's an Eric Ebron three-color rookie patch. Now with the Colts, but we always collect uh, Lions cards, so that'll go right into the um, old uh, Lions PC box. Wait, old, old, well, older players that don't play for them anymore, you know. So that'll go into our old uh, Lions hit box. We have a current player Lions hit box. And we have a uh, older player Lions hitbox. I see one that says old Lions. Oh, now I see another one that says old Lions hits. Yep, that's the one. So that Ebron will go in there. Okay. Man, he did a number on this tape job. That's pretty good. <laughs> that must be a really good card. Well, I think he just does a really good job at protecting the cards so they don't get messed up for the people he's trying to send them to. But anything people send us is really good because they don't have to send us anything. But there's a lot of top-loaded cards in here. Maybe I should go with the other one first. <laughs> oh, I can hear Mommy maybe down coming downstairs to tell you to go to bed. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, what is this one? This is a Luther Ellis. That's cool. Let's check these out. Look at this die-cut football card. Whoa! 
Do you Lu have that? Uh, I don't think I do. Rookie kickoff, Luther Ellis. He was a beast. He was a defensive tackle. So he was a defensive lineman. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Yeah, a couple of carry-on rookie from Optic. Nice. Elite Series rookies. TJ Hawkinson. The Canvas. Oh, there's some berries. Ooh, nice little berry. All-time fantasy legends. I love popping Look at this, Barry Sanders. What? This is a cool one. Contenders Whoa. Playoff. So cool. Here's some more berries. Dang, man, this is a, a Cooper Cup. He's hitting all the PCs. Cooper Cup, the local kid. Deshaun Hand, blue. Calvin Johnson was in I there. We almost got the Cooper. I, we almost I, got the Cooper Cup uh, jersey at the store today, huh? But it was a lot of money. Yeah. Um, I have the one Sean? that is the blue thing, oh, except you? not blue. Oh, the base. Uh huh. I have. There's full gum. Oh, Scott Mitchell die cut. There's Scott Mitchell, Jared Davis. We'll see what happens with him. Deshaun Hand, Amir Abdullah. Oh, David Blau, backup quarterback to Matthew Stafford. Uh, that's in his uh, Purdue uniform. Shout out to Justin Smith. Brad Kaya, Brad Kaya Hollow. Another Brad Kaya. His mom was in the movie Friday, if you didn't know. Carry on Johnson, carry on, carry on Silver, carry on here. And Matthew Stafford, I love this card. This is the Prestige 2014 Captain's die cut acetate. Well, not die cut, but it's an acetate card. Here you could. Oh. <laughs> Those are always really cool. And then this last pack, it looks like everything is top loaded in this one. Everything? Yeah. Here's a Kenny Galladay. This is blue, guys. Yep, it's numbered to 299 very sweet. I like the gray uniforms. They're nice great. Kevin Jones, old school elite series, numbered out of a thousand. Numbered out of what? Ooh, white sparkle. Hashtag we miss golden. Look at this golden here. Golden Tate. Golden Tate, little sparkle. Look at that shine. He still plays, right? Yep, just not for them, unfortunately. Oh, oh whoa, this is so. I'm almost, I'm probably 95% sure I do, I do not have this Barry Sanders. It's really tough to get me Barry Sanders cards that I don't have, especially ones this cool. Here, fill that right there. Be careful with the picture on it, but fill that part right there on the football. That feels so realistic. <laughs> That's really cool. Playoff pigskin preview. Is that a real football? No. Well, that was a real football. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a really cool card, though. Man. Sorry, but when I get cards for my PC that I don't have and I think are just amazing, I, I try to take a few seconds and go through them. That is what awesome. Oh, so here's a, a short print out of 25 Jared Davis rookie auto. Oh. The purple. The, somebody just sent me this card. These cards, dude, just as a care package. Like, here you guys go, have fun. <laughs> what else we got? We have a red optic Matthew Stafford. I'm not sure if I have the red. This one's out of ninety nine. I'll check. <laughs> <laughs> I will check tomorrow for sure. Brad Kaya Auto doesn't play for them anymore, but he did at this card. Yeah. Here's a Cooper Cup out of four ninety nine. Can you get me a, uh, let's try a 59 in this one. 59. Yeah. Let's see. Can there we go. Help? Sweet. Ooh, this is a Sparks. I love the, look at the lightning bolts coming. Isn't that awesome? Uh, Carry on Johnson Sparks. That's so cool. This should be out of 99. Yep, there it is. 87 out of 99. Dude, this is one of the best care packages we've ever got. Look at this short print out of 25. Matthew Stafford three color patch and hashtag we miss golden patch. Dang. Why do you always say hashtag? 
because I do. I wish they never would have traded him. So um, when they traded him, not this past season, but the year before, um, the Lions were one game out of first place, right? And they and Matthew Stafford was on for another Pro Bowl kind of season. Um, they had the number one offense in the NFL. Matthew Stafford was leading the league in touchdowns and yards and all that stuff. And they trade Golden Tate, like, out of nowhere. They're like, okay, we're going to trade you. And they wanted to boost up their run defense, so they traded him. They got Snack Harrison, David Harrison. Um, they traded Golden. And I was like, no, go, because I loved Golden Tate, right? I watched, I love watching him play. He's really, he's great after the catch. Um, and then right after that, they were like, okay, we can let Golden go because Kenny G is becoming a beast, and they still had Marvin Jones. Like, okay. But, like, the next week or over the next couple of weeks, Marvin Jones, out for the season. Kenny G, out for the season. on Johnson, out for the season. What? Yeah. They all got hurt. And they were out for the whole year. This was not this past year, but the year before. I don't know if you remember. But, um, but and then when they traded Golden Tate, they, like, had nobody. They, like, nobody to throw to. They were finding dudes off the street. And they're like, hey, can you play football? And then they weren't really, but it just <laughs> it was funny. But, um... Yeah, and, and so, you know, I, I always say hashtag we miss Golden. So I, I tweet him out. He liked a couple of my comments on Twitter. Golden Tate did. <laughs> and yesterday, uh, I, I Joyke Bell. I don't know if you remember Joyke Bell. But, um, and uh, I, I met him uh, at the playoff game a couple of years ago, and we got to talk for a little while. And uh, he announced his retirement yesterday, I think. He was, thinking, he was talking about thank Detroit and thank you Detroit for all this stuff and and so I wrote him back, and then he liked my comment. So that was kind of cool, Joyk. <laughs> and I sent him a picture of me and him together. Uh, Matthew Stafford patch here. Ooh, Barry patch. This is out of 99, Barry Sanders patch. Very cool. Oh, here's a Barry Sanders purple insert. Oh, no. That is out of 149. Big play slay. Here's another guy I hope they don't get rid of. Man. People are hard on him around Detroit, man, but who else do you want there? 39 out of 199. And they've been saying they're probably going to trade Matthew. Yep, but uh, his wife came out today, and you know she speaks a lot on Twitter, and uh, she came out today and said, we're not going anywhere. She, like, commented, she uh, uh, paraphrased the song and talking about we're not leaving anywhere, you can't get rid of us and all that stuff. <laughs> because they love the city. And they love helping people, and uh, hopefully they they don't move him. Ooh, I do not have this. This is out of 75 round numbers insert to carry on. Oh, here's a Marvin Jones. I love Matthew. Well, yep, he's my he's my favorite player right now. Seven out of 25. Wow, this is a short print Marvin Jones. Out of 100, Amir Abdullah and Taiwan Jones. And then finally, here's one of those acetate cards of Megatron, wow. Calvin Johnson. Megatron? Yep, you know that they called him Megatron. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, Nathan, that was an amazing care package. Very undeserving, but greatly appreciate that, man. That's, that was amazing. So that was the best. thank you to Snods, um, to Jamie from Southern Breakers, Rib City Cards. Um, you know, they didn't send all the cards this time, but, uh, and then Nathan blast the PC at the end. If anybody's watching for this 24 minute video, you are a trooper. So I thank you too. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. You are in the goat pen. <laughs> wow.